at great risk of being labeled as a Samsung fanboy, I've been telling you guys for like months now that I genuinely believe that the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is going to be an exceptionally great folding phone. And there are some obvious reasons there. They are finally giving in and giving us the cover display that I think we've, generally speaking, been asking for from the beginning. A cover display that is going to be remarkably similar to the S25 Ultra. They're going to be also, by virtue of that, increasing the overall size of the inner display. It's getting significantly thinner with that likely lighter as well. The primary camera is going from a 50 megapixel sensor to a 200 megapixel sensor, which may or may not be the same sensor that's in uh, the S25 Ultra device. It might be a slightly different sensor, but nonetheless, it's an improved sensor, and that's definitely going to be a good thing. It's got the Snapdragon 8 Elite. It's got a larger vapor chamber. Yes, there are some downsides, right? So the battery likely is not getting any larger than 4,400 milliamp hours. I doubt it's going to be charging as fast as the Oppo Find N5. But with Samsung's software and the improvements I've just kind of laid out, things are looking, to me, very, very strong. And we actually just got one more piece of, let's call it, evidence that I think indicates that this device is going to be really great. And it came from the One UI 8 Beta, which I have installed on my S25 Ultra. If we scroll down here, it kind of just rolled out in this beta without a whole lot of fanfare. Enhanced split-screen view. Guys, I think this is going to be a real game-changer for the Z Fold. So in case you've missed my video where I go over the changes in the One UI 8 beta, I'm going to show you right now exactly what this feature does. So currently, on most Android devices, if you fire up an application, we're going to do our swipe up and hold, and we're going to click here and do open in split screen view, you can now launch a second application. We'll just do CX File Explorer because that's right there. Now, this view, to me, has never been all that useful because you just have these two small squares. That's not, again, all that useful to me. You've been able to, for a while, sort of just resize these things. Maybe one app, it makes sense to be smaller than the other. But now, with One UI 8, and mind you, this is actually something that's going to be coming to Android in general, hopefully in the next three, four, five months, you can now drag one of these all the way down until about right there. You see that, I think that maybe it's the, the marker is, the color is changing, it's sort of graying out a little bit. You get to about right here, and if you let it go, what you end up with is what they're kind of calling a 90-10 split. Now, you may be thinking, how is that useful? You can barely see any of that application. You have a whole app here and effectively no app there. Well, if I touch that app, it's going to slide up and reverse or invert this 90-10 split. So now we have the full app here or the full app here. You can quickly jump back and forth between these two, and both applications are effectively completely usable. Rather than trying to keep two apps on the screen at once, you acknowledge that doesn't really make sense, and you just make it so that you can jump back and forth between these two apps extremely rapidly. Now, how does this relate to the Galaxy Z Fold devices? This is obviously my Z Fold 6. We're speculating about the Z Fold 7. Keep that in mind. Well, I think that if they take this logic and apply it to the Fold 7, which I think that they're going to, things are about to get very, very interesting. In order to show this, I've pulled up my Oppo Find N5 because Oppo or OnePlus, whichever one you want to go with, they have basically already done this sort of thing. And it has been the primary thing that has drawn me towards this phone over Samsung's device. On these devices, you have the ability to expand an application on either side, one or the other, whatever you want to do. And now you have this exact scenario. Granted, it's horizontal, but tell me that that's not the exact same thing that I just showed you on the S25 Ultra. Currently with these Samsung devices, this is really all you have, just straight up side by side, but you can't do this. Oppo phones call this boundless view. OnePlus phones call it open canvas. Whatever you want to call it, it is awesome.
Now, of course, these devices do take it a step further. Let's say that I want to add in a third application. We'll just grab YouTube. I can drag this in, release it to add, and now we have two full screen applications and one small application. Well, let's go ahead and expand this as well. Now we have this insane setup where there's three full screen applications. I can zoom them all out. It's incredibly flexible. Over here for Samsung, if you want to do the same thing, you can have that third application, but everything's going to be wedged, jammed onto this screen in two little small squares. Is Samsung likely to you know, truly give us the open canvas experience? I doubt it, but if they at least give us this version with two apps side by side like this, man, again, like I said, I believe that to be a game changer. And of course, keep in mind that if that inner screen is indeed getting fairly significantly wider overall, larger than the traditional way of having two or three apps on the screen where everything is just on the screen at once, will be a better experience. More screen real estate just makes that type of thing work better. So what we might be getting with the Z Fold 7 is the best yet in terms of, you know, phones that can fit in your pocket, the best yet implementation of Samsung's traditional style of split screen multitasking with the addition of OnePlus and Oppo's open canvas boundless view style split screen multitasking, the best of both worlds. Now, obviously we're doing some speculation here. We've only seen how this behaves on a slab style phone, but we do know guys directly from Samsung that the first generation upgrade starts with the new Galaxy Foldables. One UI 8 is debuting in its stable form on the new Galaxy Foldables. Do we really think that they're going to roll this update out, this new version of One UI, after One UI 7 was delayed and delayed and delayed, and now that it's out, it has been much maligned. Many of you have voiced your problems with this update that run the gamut from just basically any issue that you can imagine. I put out a video trying to fix as many of the common problems as I could for people, but people have problems with One UI 7. They're debuting One UI 8 on their new foldable devices, and I think because of that, you are going to see some foldable optimization, and this would be, in my mind, an example of a fantastic foldable optimization. So I think there is a chance that even though we are speculating here, what I'm outlining could indeed be what is coming down the pipe. Guys, I want to know from you, how big of a deal is this feature? Those of you that have used these OnePlus or Oppo devices, how great do you actually think it is? How big of a deal do you think it's going to be for Samsung phones to potentially have something like this? Sound off in those comments down below. If you want to see my breakdown of all of the new things in One UI 8's first initial beta, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below as well. And there is an article up on shanecraig.tech where I give you the entire change log there as well. So either way you want to go, the information is there for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.